uh, that's a wood surface and it's an insulator. So your stove is going to perform pretty well in that environment. On the other hand, if you're out somewhere and you set this stove on a rock, a flat rock, and that rock is cold from, uh, from being overnight on a cold day, anyway, the rock is cold, when you set that stove on there, the cold from that rock will suck the heat out of the stove, and the stove may perform okay, and it may not perform okay because the rock is pulling all the heat away from it and keeping it from really coming up to temperature. That's something I had to learn. I had some stove designs that I thought were great because I was testing them on my top of my cold wood stove, and then I used them out on the AT on uh, one of those wooden beams, and they overheated real bad right in front of God and everybody. And that wasn't pretty. I wasn't real proud of that. And that's how I learned the hard way. Okay, I'll turn the camera back on uh, when this water comes to a boil. Okay, uh, this water has come to a boil already. It only took a, a very short period of time uh, for that to come to a boil. And I have a cup of water here. Open up this meal. Dump it in here. There we go. Carry in, carry out. Okay. Now, I've got a spork here. I'm going to stir this all up, make sure it's all uh, covered in water. There we go. And then I'm going to put the lid on and let it set for 10 minutes. Uh, now, a good idea to help is to put your windscreen around it. That will help insulate it and keep the heat in somewhat uh, so that it will hydrate better. Okay, when that's all hydrated, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, uh, I'm going to pour this alcohol back in the bottle. Real quick like. Now my meal is all rehydrated, uh, and it's thick enough so I can tilt it right up. If I was going to do that again, I'd use just a little bit more water. I used a cup, and that's what it called for, but uh, I think I would have used a cup and a quarter next time because it's a little bit thick. But it's done, and it's good. Mountain House makes some some really good meals, and, and that's a good one. The uh, beef stroganoff, that's one of the better ones. So, uh, I'll leave off here for this one. And on the next one, I'll do something totally radical for out in the woods. I'll uh, bake a cake. <laughs> I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Try to have a really great day. Try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye. Okay, I've eaten my meal. Now I'm going to wash the dishes. Everybody's got different ways of doing it. This is mine. As long as you do that, pretty soon after you eat before it has a chance to dry on, you got it. Wait till the next morning? No. But right after you eat, you can do that. It only takes a minute. Put it back in your pack. You're all set to go. Bye-bye.